Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, ME Vibes SA. The political landscape met the realm of beauty and celebration as South Africa's EFF took to social media to congratulate the newly crowned Miss South Africa, Natasha Joubert. However, this seemingly straightforward gesture has led to unexpected confusion and speculation reflecting the intricate interplay between politics and public sentiment. Now guys, before I get into the full updates of this video, please do want to subscribe to my channel, like this video, do want to drop a comment after watching the entire video, and don't forget to hit my post notification bell not to miss us on any further updates. Natasha Jobert's crowning moment unfolded on a glittering Sunday night at the Sunbet Arena within the Times Square Casino in Pretoria. Her journey to this victory was a culmination of dedication and perseverance. Having been a finalist in the previous year, where she came in the top three but was narrowly surpassed by Shuduvhadzo Musida, earning the honor of representing South Africa at the prestigious Miss Universe 2021 competition, Natasha Dubert's achievements garnered attention and congratulations from various quarters. Prominent politicians, including President Cyril Ramaphosa, were quick to extend their well wishes to the new beauty queen. However, it was the EFF's message on Twitter that sparked a unique reaction from the public. Known for their outspoken stance and often described as anti-white, many anticipated that the EFF might overlook Natasha Jobert's victory due to her racial background. Contrary to expectations, the EFF surprised many by extending their congratulations, a move that left some people puzzled. As you can see guys, uh, the EFF economic freedom fighters, they took to their Instagram to congratulate uh, Natasha Jubert and they posted saying, the EFF wishes to congratulate Natasha Jubert for being crowned Miss South Africa 2023. May your reign serve as a source of inspiration to millions, particularly young women and children, to never stop dreaming, to believe in themselves and to stop at nothing to pursue their goals. EFF wrote on Twitter, The unexpected nature of the EFF's congratulatory message led to social media users speculating about the party's motives and intentions. Accusations of confusion and mixed messaging surfaced as observers tried to decify the party's stance on the celebration of Natasha Joubert's achievement. This instance highlights the complex relationship between politics and public perception. The EFF's gesture, while seemingly straightforward, has prompted conversations about the party's messaging strategy and the nuances surrounding their public image. As South Africa rejoices in Natasha Joubert's success, the intersection of politics and societal sentiment once again reminds us that, even in moments of celebration, the broader context of ideologies and public perception can cast unexpected shadows. In a world where every statement is scrutinized, gestures of support can carry a weight that transcends the immediate occasion, inviting deeper discussions about identity, representation, and the dynamics of politics in modern society guys tell me what you think about this in the comment section do want to subscribe to my channel if you're new to the channel like this video make sure to hit my post notification bell not to miss out on any further updates